Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to episode 78 of my last play, Pillars of Eternity. Okay, as you know, we believe we got as deep as we can. We not, can't take these, so we're gonna travel back upwards and see that road we opened up. And start doing some quests that way, because we need to level, and then we need to come back here, finish these bosses off, and of course these little things and that dragon. <clears throat> <clears throat> so we didn't get much further into it, unfortunately. We're trying to kill our house up, but it's not very, it's not working very well. For now. My effects, all damage and healing done by the character. Yeah, we're going there. Let's deal with a boss we can't kill yet. So we can kill him. It'd be great because that's a quest for this dude over here too. In fact, having you know, just ogres just sitting in our home base is not the best thing, as you can imagine. Especially ones who love to eat humans, and since they can't find any, are eating each other. At least we wiped off from now, but still, we had the strongest one down there. Of course, we can get all the way to that bottom by doing that if we wish. So yeah, so basically, it, we thought if we, somehow we could have killed the dragon, the only way back up would be going through every single dungeon to get up, so we wouldn't have had any of these, or we would have run out, because how many times we get the deep as we had, we had to use at least this four times, no, four times, uh, the, the set, you know, set of four, we use at least twice, haven't we? <clears throat> so we would have probably perished down there, but then again, if we could kill the dragon, we, that means we're stronger, so we probably would have the ability to kill the things above us, so... It's actually two, isn't it? And we didn't have to kill everything. We could always, as long as we found the stairs, we could avoid some stuff. But we didn't know what we are avoiding. So it wouldn't try an error, wouldn't it? I'm going to head up here with the rest. I'm going to head out near the road. To that city, I guess. I just really wanted to have this secure before I left. <laughs> Skills used to perform, so whatever. We're fixing this up soon so we can power and take prisoners. Don't know why we want to take prisoners, but there's probably going to be a reason for it. Okay. First, I mess written by backers. Yeah, I thought they were too so I can't okay. Many of them bring the fourth, break the fourth wall. Is that a complete immersion? You may wish to avoid clicking them. But I said, I was thinking with someone, I was like, I wish they didn't do that. <coughs> Guys, you may want to change the formation. You can use the formation button. Hmm. Yeah, that was a mess. But our bedrooms are lovely upstairs. We just did them up recently. If you haven't seen them my mansion before. See? It is lovely. No bonuses in it here, though. So I wanted to wait to upgrade so we get bonuses because um, paying at the end I get bonuses. When I sleep with my wood, I get bonuses. When I say wood, I mean oh, it's not up here. Uh, my camp button. What's normally fire down here? Okay, everyone's fine now. Eight hours have passed. Oh, how close to fixing this next thing? One day, two, two hours for the dungeons. Okay, so what's this down here? This must be the path unlocked to get to the next location. <clears throat> okay, so we come out here. So planes. I guess we're heading over here. Was it that village we're supposed to be heading to? Okay, 
progress we had here. 18 hours. <clears throat> Hopefully we can maybe level while we're in this forest. And like I said, I wish we could get the, the wood up more, so I just carry four, like, you know, carry eight or so. To arrive, seeking employment. What? Don't know if this has arrived seeking employment, what does that mean? Where's employment? How do I see the employment guy? Oh, okay. Must be Barris recruit hirelings. I guess we'll see what that's about later. Big to say. Oh, it's not bad. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> Fellowlands. Benefactor, Lord John Galert Catalyst. Oh, I think that fits in law still, even if it's benefactor. Obviously, he means by Kickstarter, but that still fits. Because he could be benefactor to the local land or village nearby. You know, help the bank or something, whatever. The Fool Dragon of the Observing Order. Eternally in the service of the Order. Yeah, that works. Michael's are done. Truth near North. Truth. Got no clue. <laughs> Lord Tubajo Carradal. Here lies an unfortunate lord who, irresponsibility, stood above his bed, poorly fastened his powerful magic sword. Wow. <laughs> so he stood his sword above his bed and it fell and sliced him in two, more than likely, or spared him. Maybe Mr. Shishkabab. Tulsbarisky. Tulod Hurricane Narrows. Okay, this is a different language. Oh, here. The glow of fire showed the way through the night and the wind will lead us up. Oh, that's not bad. He loved to run and run, Ur Urbi. Supposed to be a dog. Sometimes he didn't, but still he kept it, kept at it. Then he stopped. So here he is. Okay, that was a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Mister Vishar. In his dying breath, he muttered, "The numbers not four, five, and one. What could it mean? Oh, it could be a code for something." So Sai Kartai Disciple of Viril. He is death incarnated, endless feeding on the nightmares of tormented souls in the dark tunnels of eternity. In his wake, despair and destruction follow. His power ever grows. He will reawaken. Hmm. That fits the law, in a sense. This guy, for some reason, he's some kind of evil demon. Maybe he's a watcher who's got this, uh, you know, like one of these overlords inside him. Uh, um, uh, like an emperor or from past ages or something. Or I'm thinking like Gander's Khan type scenario. I forgot what he's classed as. Basically, something like that. So he believes he's immortal. He believes he's a god. He's gonna reawaken. So that's quite good. I like that one. Well done. Even though your name's a bit weird, but that's good. <laughs> Walker Grim Grimble Grimbleson. Greetings from Swathen's home, where I feed, where I feed, drink, and sing, waiting for Harkin's return. May my axe be as sharp in death as it was in life. Hmm. It's okay. Miller is insane, filled with light, consumed by shadows. William Labin, Willie's not here. He was never here to begin with. Mm, that one's a silly one. Gustang, a tall dwarf found, uh, fond of beards and axes. Other than being tall, that is every dwarf ever. <laughs> dwarf fond of beards and axes, just saying. <laughs> Especially male dwarfs. But then again, female dwarves might even be fond of them too. Because they're like, oh, the male dwarves got a lovely beard. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Here lies Boob Plate. Seriously, Boob Plate. Their fans saved the day, enjoying their play. Knights in the shimmering armour, or fools in tights to look charm. At least not the Boob Plate inappropriate, which would make Josh quite irrit. Okay, that started off a bit like, eh. Uh, Got quite good in the middle, and then the end just was like, what? Who's Josh? <laughs> just randomly Josh. It's like, here lies... Okay, well... Seriously? YDR... YDRC? We are no longer our souls. We are the faithful no more. Lots were not drawn and set out. I will not splinter and break. Dwelling on earth or the sky. No master, no gods. Yeah. Passa. Happiness free for everyone, and let no one be forgotten. Mm, that's a good one. Uh, just a fair child. Dreams do come true. Mm, that's a good one. See, sir. So, like I said, I probably butchered all these names. <laughs> Sorry about that. By the grace of his wife, 
He pledged and then pledged some more to be binary code on a pillar. Seriously? I don't think they're binary code back then in this time period, so this is a, a modern day breaking the third, fourth wall, third whatever. Well, some such for eternity, hopefully not in torment. Zinden the racket was here. And again, absolutely amazing. Oh, the depth he's put into and the effort into that is awesome. <laughs> Raymond Beckett, avid, avid gamer and a dedicated backer to Pillars of Eternity. Again, in terms of this fantasy world, what's it, avid gamer? Would that mean that he's hunting? And a dedicated backer to Pillars of Eternity. What's he backed? What's Pillars of Eternity in the, 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 uh, the, the setting of this? Obviously, that's what the game's called. But I don't think I've ever seen anything that's tossed about Pillars, unless I'm mistaken, currently. Obviously, it's going to probably do something to do with the ending or whatever, but again, that's a good one takes you out of the game. The immersion aspect. In memory of Paracas, whatever, also known as Suicide Bunny, 1909 to 2015. Uh, 1909 to 2015. Huh. Again, I'm not sure about that one. That part works, but then it's the, the date. I doubt we're on a, doing that. Yeah, I wonder if he gives you me date on a lot in a minute. Uh, Fredon Lightbringer. Here lies Fyodon. Oh, Fyodon, sorry. Fyodon, a, ba a bard, a poet. Thought I like good, good. He was also a card, but most didn't know it. Okay, I like that. Because he's a card, so, you know, jokes around. That's good, good, good. And like that, he's a bard, he's a poet, he's also a card, but most didn't know it, so he's actually doing his profession. A poem he wrote in jest was misread. They asked for blood, so now he's just dead. <laughs> okay, I like that one. <laughs> so basically, he's done a poem in jest. They took it literally and basically killed him. Okay, so is there a way to tell? Aha, day twenty. No, see there. Four tar pin two eight two three AI. I'm assuming that's the year. Hence why. That makes no sense in law terms. Obviously, he's going off real life. He was born in 1969 to 2015. I don't mean. I don't think with that. Is he saying he died in 2015? I guess it's what. I guess he's still alive. Or well, hopefully, the person who wrote this is still alive, really, in real life. But I guess because it's supposed to be his tombstone, he would put the year that is it, uh, he wrote this. So that makes sense. But yeah, the year doesn't think. It's like my character reads that night. 1979 to 2015. What's that? Some kind of code? What? <laughs> you know. Okay. Just say the word. We got some burned, lady. We burned it good. Oh, what's this? First look. That should be fine. Okay, not quite. Let's down go. Okay, God, I was gonna say you're gonna start healing everyone. If you didn't go down quick. And you have to lock. Because he's awake in wood. Stabs chanting. So basically, he chants every time we fight. He's just chanting and singing. He wants to show Broadway. Uh oh, I just expect them to be able. What are you? I'm actually not sure. Oh, crud, this ain't good, there's nothing more. I think you're gonna be stronger, so I'll kill her. Go there, you can start healing with the pumping. Give us some pumping action. What the fuck are you doing? That was weird. Feel the power! Radon, or rather, whatever his name was from Mortal Kombat. Everyone hit the same thing. Come 
And he's down. Oh, with that, thanks for ending the episode, I see. So, that's kind of good stuff. And tune in next week, this is Utopia. So, bye for now, everyone. And, like I said, if you want to subscribe, I really hope you do. It would be amazing. Thank you very much. Hit the little bell. And share, share, share. Bye.